Usually aircraft are one of the big things that arrive at the sim. But this week, something else appears from the team of Airsoft. And today, we're covering some interesting pieces of news, not just from Airsoft, Black Square, Innerbuilds, Top Mac Studios, and a lot more. But before we dive right in, thank you for tuning in, and I'm Chick Mangla. Before we dive right into topic, it's time for our sponsors for this video. There are solutions to control your PC or even play games right from your phone by the use of a remote desktop. Awesome Remote Desktop, a useful software enabling users like us to remotely access and control your PC, laptop or smartphone anywhere and anytime. Not just controlling, you can transfer files remotely, mirror your mobile to your PC, make screen recording tutorials and videos easily. Compatible with most common platforms and do check this code for a 7 day trial. Do take a look at the smart plug that enables you to turn off your PC gradually from anywhere an easy to install plug that saves energy sold only on Amazon. Aerosoft has finally announced the release date for the eagerly awaited Frankfurt Airport scenery and to mark the occasion they plan to host a release party featuring the airport's developers. If you've observed recently Aerosoft has been actively promoting the airport through various developer interviews and video showcases. This is a big project and these interviews have provided insights into the process of the development. Frankfurt Airport, one of the busiest in Europe, is a significant hub for both passenger and cargo traffic. The Aerosoft version is expected to capture the airport's complexity with detailed terminal buildings, accurate runway layouts and advanced landing systems. Now, this scenery will likely include intricate ground textures, animated jetways and custom-built airport vehicles, enhancing the realism for us. Aerosoft's attention to detail ensures that the airport will be an immersive experience, reflecting the bustling atmosphere and modern architecture of Frankfurt Airport in the virtual skies. On hardware, Verpo, they've hinted a new addition to their product line through a teaser image. And while the company hasn't revealed the exact nature of the product, this image suggests that this could be a yoke. What do you think can be out? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. In a recently released video, Black Square offers a first look at the upcoming Starship. The two and a half minute video showcases the unique twin pusher aircraft in flight, featuring various close-ups, panning flybys and detailed views of both the interior and exterior. Several key features, including liveries, inspired by the real Starship paint schemes and the dynamic movement of the variable sweep cannon surface. This adjusts to counter the nose down pitching effect when wing flaps are deployed. Additionally, the cabin of the Starship 2000A model is previewed, featuring a 6 feet configuration. While no release date has been announced, the video suggests that the development of this iconic aircraft is progressing very well, so more to follow. Enables, in collaboration with Simworks Studios and Ace Maker Aviation, have announced the release of the highly anticipated T-33 jet trainer. Now, this has generated significant excitement amongst the community. A detailed and a feature-rich simulation, with Simworks Studios contributing to the system's modeling and flight dynamics, where Enables handle the remaining development aspects. The aircraft comes with a wide range of features, including authentic steam gauges, a modern avionics suite, two distinct cockpit styles, and realistic dynamics and sunsets. The jet train is set to impress with high resolution details, including liveries, detail canopy covers, toggleable chocks, engine plugs, and period covers. The interiors of the aircraft is equally impressive, offering features such as the Pac 24 audio selector panel, realistic ejection seat plugs, interactive controls in both front and rear cockpits, and options for either a classic steam gauge or modern glass cockpit configuration. Talking about Open Beta, a new add on is now available, and this freeware utility add on, available at simflight.to, enables the transmission of vital information to aircraft, including takeoff and landing reports load sheets and notifications about rocket launches and natural disasters. For those unfamiliar with ACARS, Aerial Communications Addressing and Report System. It's a digital data link system used for transmitting short messages, which are essential for efficient flight management. 
It's a digital data link system used for transmitting short messages that are essential for efficient flight management. And this is set a global standard as it allows for quick and clear relay of critical information without congesting busy communication frequencies, ensuring pilots have all necessary information for safe operation of the aircraft. Talking military. TopMax Studios has released their version of the Nortop B2A Spirit, which is also known as a stealth bomber. It's an American long-range strategic bomber designed by Nortrop Gunman. Recognized for its unique flying wing design and stealth capabilities, the B-2 has been deployed in various conflicts, including the Kosovo War, Iraq War, and the War in Afghanistan, and has also seen action in Libya and South Korea. Topmax Studios' model of the B-2A Spirit includes a detailed 3D exterior, custom cockpit, high-quality textures, 21 liveries, custom avionics, fully functional multifunction displays, an EFP, autopilot, fly-by-wire system, and a lot more. And moving to something historic under military. On the Discord, Flying Iron Simulations will be known for developing their beautiful warbirds, has shared some previews of the upcoming German aircraft, the Focke Wolf FW190. The previews display various liveries, including German winner and summer camouflage, as well as captured plane liveries used by Allied forces. One of the previews reveals the aircraft with its engine cowling removed, exposing the engine. The plane also appears to be refueling from a barrel, surrounded by other service equipment. Now this could indicate a new feature Flying Iron Simulations could be working on, which includes adding historically accurate ground equipment to accompany this aircraft. More exciting things to uncover at Microsoft Flight Simulator. And what are you most excited about today? Drop them in the comments below. And as always, it's been a true pleasure. Until next time, bye bye for now.